Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Crystal back again with some more Xenoblade Chronicles X. Last time we started to take, we knocked out some of the uh, last few side quests we needed to before we could get on with the next chapter. And today, we will, in fact, be starting chapter four. Let's do this. Uh, I forgot all about the fucking cooking cutscene. Delicious. Lucky thing I happen to be in the neighborhood. You say that every time, Commander, but you always arrive as we're setting the table. Oh? You don't say. <sighs> Alright, listen up. We found something in Noctilum thanks to Frontier Nav. That's northwest of here, Rook. Looks like a piece of the life hold. That's great news. Damn right. Look at this. Oh, friends mean night glow woods. Is that what the Nopon call it? We didn't have names for anything here, so we've been using Noctilum for that whole region. <laughs> well, that's a silly name. And night glow woods isn't. <clears throat> Moving on. Right, sorry. According to the Pathfinder's report, there's a large number of indigents in the area, but thankfully no sign of any intelligent life forms. No, no, that's wrong. No one visit Nightglow Woods all the time. Yeah, well, like I said, no intelligent life forms have been reported, but it never hurts to be cautious. Mm, friends patronize Tatsu. No pun proud and brave people with rich history, you know. Pipe down, small fry. Or I'll make that nickname come true. We'll have you check in with Lau's team first. They're already on assignment installing probes in the area. We don't have a fix on the life old signal, just a general direction. See if they've got more info. Got it. Well, with that, chapter four has officially began, and one thing that I, you know, this is one of my favorite games of all time, but I don't know, the, the Lin cooking, like the Tatsu was food joke, that's what I'm trying to say, that gets old so quickly to me. We're actually going to go ahead and fast travel to FN site 103. It happens to be right where we need to start. It's where we got that uh, special item orb for Kir for Kirsty. And we were instructed to meet up with Lau. We will go ahead and do that.
Hey, hey, look who it is. Lau, it's been a while. It has. Are you going to introduce me to your friends? Where's Danny and Boris? These are my new team members. As for Danny and Boris, we had a bad run-in with a powerful indigent. They didn't make it. I see. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I hadn't heard. It's okay. And what's up with this onion thing? You're using it for rations or something? Tatsu, not onion or ration. Tatsu is no pun. Brave and distinguished people with long history on Mira. <laughs> it talks. Where'd you find this thing? Rescued him. He was about to become lunch for some prone, these hostile Xenos we ran into. He's agreed to serve as our guide here. Wow. Okay. And you? What's your story? Are you really as young as you look? Sure am. Thirteen years old inside and out. I'm Lin Lee Koo. Well, hello, Lin Lee Koo. You must be something to be able to make Elma's team at 13. All right. What about you? I'm Lao Huang. I head up Pathfinder Team Belisarda. Good to meet you. Got an interesting crew here, but they seem capable enough. I chose them personally. I figured. So, I heard Nelson's whole team got wiped out by some nasty new Xenos. Is that true? Yeah, those prone I mentioned. We're not sure if they're the ones that destroyed Earth, but their tech certainly seemed advanced enough. Really? We better watch our backs. By the way, we picked up a life hold signal in the direction of Noctilum. Have you or your crew come across anything? Where? Around here? I take it the answer is no. Yeah, this is the first I've heard of it. We bumped into another team and they didn't mention it either. I see. All right. We were hoping your team might have a lead or some more info, but no such luck, huh? Well, thanks anyway. We should go. Hey, hold up, hold up. Mind if I tag along? But your assignment? We're more or less done here. We just need to report back. Well, until you do, you're not done here. Oh, give me a break, Elma. The rest of my crew can handle the paperwork. We're talking about a piece of the life hold here. I've never even seen one. That's way more important. And besides, you might need the help. Finding it or handling the indigents that get in your way. Now come on. Hmm. All right, well, if we so wish we could recruit Lau here, voiced by, by Matt Mercer, who else would it be? I'm actually gonna leave him here for now. We've got Gwyn currently, and I'm fine just just working with Gwyn for a bit. I feel like I always recruit Lau here whenever I play through, so I wanna, I wanna, you know, I wanna try something different. But as we walk through this little cavern, we find my favorite region in the game. I'm very glad that we that we're here at night. This is Noctilum. As and as Tatsu just calls it, the Night Glow Woods is a very uh very apt name. Uh, as you can see a lot of stuff a lot of not only just the uh the environment, but like a lot of uh indigents here as well are bioluminescent. It's actually like super cool. Like, I don't know, whenever it comes to, like, people, like, designing stuff and, I don't know, I've always been a fan of bioluminescence in character design or creature design. So seeing it used well here is, is awesome. Oh, you know what, let's go on ahead and fight our way through. I hope that I don't blast anything else with this. Doesn't look like I did. Oh, or 
nothing. Three beds. Opportunity not. The rising flame. I actually did do a little bit of grind. Well, not a little bit of grinding off screen. I did like two fights. But just to get up to level 12, because uh, I was going to do some uh, affinity missions, but but I just didn't have high enough affinity. So I just figured, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go and start the next, or the next chapter. Yeah, I absolutely love Noctilum. Just the music as well. It's just like this. Like, if I really want to chill out playing a game, like what I'll do is uh, like if I want to just chill out for a bit, what I'll do is uh, I'll come and just wander around knock. I would just come and wander around knock them for a bit and just let the let the music just sort of sort of play and like just not really get into any fights. Just exist so I just I, don't know, I just love this area not to say that the others are bad by any means but you know I just I like here but we've actually got a side quest that we happen oh, to run into thank God. GGO what the hell you're human good I can run into a blade all the way out here. I guess my luck has not completely conked out. Anyway, I could use some help on an outfitter assignment. What do you say? Um... What's up? Got my hair on a request from Sakuraba Industries. I wanted us to test out some new scale weapon on the engines around here. No one's going fine until this crazed mephite started, ca started attacking. Anyone not inside a sigil was wiped down the first wipe. Mine was totaled, but at least it kept me alive. Problem is, all that weapon test data is still inside it. This mission came straight from Isobe, Sakuraba's chief engineer. And I'd feel like a total amateur if I let him down. Now that you've shown up, I may have a way out of this. What do you say? Will you grab the test data from the scale I, I dished in Rust Lake? I'll give you everything Sakuraba's paying us. That's how much it means to me. All right, we can do that. We'll not set it as the target, but we'll have it. We'll have it in the back of our mind as we continue sneaking around through through Noctilum, getting all these treasures as we see them. I didn't immediately use slit air. Yeah, unfortunately, like, start fresh starting a class with, like, new weapons and stuff is kind of difficult. I mean, it's not difficult, it's just, like, combat gets a little bit boring since you don't have a ton of, ton of arts. We need to just keep making our way north. Or the pier. Oh, that is a tyrant scorpion. Okay. Keep that in mind. I did also take a few generic quests. So, so that's why those, uh, those uh, enemies have a uh, green right. exclamation point. I'm supposed to uh, slay a few of them. And this is also another annoying thing about this game has flying enemies. It's very hard to hit with uh, melee, melee arts and melee attacks. Rising flame! See 
I would if I could. All or nothing. Yes. Now tackle it up. Right, there we go. We have a, a probe site here. That'll give us a fast travel point into into Noctilum. So I remember back when this game first came out, like, Noctilum was actually, like, a pretty, like, like, a contentious, like, you know, whether, like, a area. Like, either you, you liked the appearance of it and, like, and, like, just the bioluminescence and just how just good it looks for a Wii U game. Or you, you despised it for, a. Uh, I would, how it can kind of be a bit of a, uh, a labyrinth. The old dragon tail tree is a, the old dragon tail tree is a great, uh, sort of landmark. It's a, it's a good fast travel point. And up at the very top, we have archaeological. Go, got that. Go. We need to keep heading a bit north. Let's avoid that tyrant. All right, I'm getting the hang of it. But we are here in Rust Lake, and actually, oh no, Rust Lake isn't one of them. Um, something that you might have seen earlier is, uh, there are certain bodies of water that actually deal damage to you. So, you gotta be wary of those. Like, they... Oh, pardon me, I just sneezed. Uh, but like I was saying, you've gotta be wary whenever you're, uh, wandering around Noctilum, because there are gonna be a few places like that. Oh, hello. There's another probe site right over here. There are a few high-level enemies right around here, so hopefully we can uh, avoid them. Oh, wait. Uh, cotton cutscene. The life hold piece should be further ahead. Friends will climb big rocky mountain? B but how? Tatsu has tiny feet, stubby, flimsy limbs. No spine either. But the turnip does have a point. I don't think there's any way we could scale those cliffs. Agreed. We'll need to take a detour. Let's try going around that way. All right, I believe this is actually a cutscene that you can miss. Because like, if you start immediately going this direction, I don't think that the uh, cutscene will play. I might be, I might be spouting misinformation, but I feel like that's the case. Let's see if we can't avoid the giant fucking wall. Ooh, that's also a scarecrow. Well, I'm just going to leave that, that for now. I'll get that on my own time. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and set this. Set the data miner as my Argus. So that way I can find the, the uh, scale wreckage real quick. We'll gather that and then I will think I will call that one there. This one there. Oh, okay, we passed it. I felt like I remembered it being here. But this is also a, a location for another uh, affinity mission. So, 
All right, there we go. And I think that I will go ahead and call this one here, like I said. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you all know what to do. Have yourselves a damn good one. Later.